One question that I am seeing pop up all the time is how does Cat know what the putty sound like? Now this is a big thing because A, from as far as I know, she never interacted with putties and thus therefore wouldn't know what they sounded like. But we kind of know that she does because obviously she says, All these years and they still sound like angry turkeys. <laughs> then let's carve them up. Now, a lot of people are arguing like, oh, like, you know, she shouldn't have interacted. She should be like, oh, who are these guys? What do they sound like? And we're going to kind of go through a few things right now on how Catherine would know about putties and stuff like that. And I, I think it's very, very simple. And I think the biggest one which we're going to talk about will be at the end of this video and you'll all probably kind of agree with me. Let's look at the first type of evidence. One, she was evil, first of all. She, you know, Rita turned her from a cat or kind of camouflaged her into a cat. Whatever way, Rita was able to come along and kind of turn her into a monster at any point, a cat monster, which again is probably one of the cooler ones. Now, my kind of knowledge is if you become a Power Ranger, you instantly know how to drive Megazords, you instantly know how to fight, you instantly know how to call on weapons and stuff like that. So my kind of thought process on this would mean that Cat was able to know about all of the past stuff from the monsters in case that she needed to call them. Any monster can turn around, snap a, snap their fingers and call any bad guys. So she could probably have gone, putties arise, and then the putties were just coming in, the Z putties that is, not the older putties. Again, that would kind of make perfect sense if they wanted to do it. Let's talk about another one. One of the things back in 93 or when Power Rangers were set is when the monsters first appeared, they would have instantly of cover this on the news you know it's i think there's an episode where they do talk about it like you know thank you to the power rangers now the main thing is when you see the end of a fight how would the news organizations or reporters know the names of the power rangers when there was no news reporting around so obviously they know they probably got that information from somewhere maybe the power rangers did kind of speak to the media afterwards but maybe they heard them shouting out we're the power rangers or whatever they want to do it i'm telling you i heard it on the radio five superheroes saved the park from this zombie guy and they call themselves the power rangers when you're covering news and you're talking about giant monsters attacking the city monsters clay monsters whatever you want to call it there would have been news coverage i'm guessing that media around the world would be talking about power rangers this just in we've just gotten word that once again the amazing power rangers have saved our fair city and the world from one of rita repulsa's lethal monsters as always we'll continue to bring you the latest power rangers news as it happens we kind of see a reference in Beast Morphers where the mayor of the town talks about Rita Repulsa and etc. etc. So obviously that that information is going to be everywhere. And of course, you're going to have a 24-hour Power Ranger watch that's going to be in Angel Grove. So I'm guessing that Cat at some point would have actually have seen the news reports and gone, oh, that's what putties are. And again, it would have sound. So obviously if you've got a TV crew that's further away, you're going to hear the putty sound at any point. So obviously you're going to be like, oh, so they do sound like turkeys. Now, those are the two ones that I could generally think of that would be the most important, bar this one next one. The last point I want to make could be turned into two ways. It could be the fact that Kat has asked the team, but more importantly, Tommy probably would have told her everything. You know, married couples are going to talk. They're going to sit down one day, you know, on a date, you know, they know exactly. They're not like, oh, so what do you do for work? Oh, I'm, I'm, I gotta go. Look at that, I gotta go. No they're going to talk about everything going on in the city. So I guarantee Kat probably turned around and said, so we fight Tangas or Tengas. What about, um, like, what did you fight when you first started? And Tommy's probably going to say, oh man, like these clay things that came out, they're called putties and they make this really weird sound like a turkey. And you know, you're going to go, oh, 
okay, yeah, that, that's really, really cool. And then you're gonna kind of probably hear it because literally if Tommy's recorded all this information about past rangers, I guarantee he's probably got the putty sound somewhere. So I can imagine, or even if Tommy's kind of recorded information from media, like, you know, old old stuff that they talk about, they're gonna record the, the sound. So when people turn around and say like, oh, Cat never fought putties, so how does she know what they sound like? It's pretty much one of the biggest things out there. And I guarantee with JJ, this is another one which I've just thought of, there's probably gonna be a history assignment on the Power Rangers because the Power Rangers have been around for such a long time. And especially in Angel Grove, where it'd be like, so this is the monsters. Like there's tons of stuff that you could look back on. But those four reasons, you're gonna find out what the putties sound like at some point. It's not like it's a, how do I say? It's not gonna be something that's hidden away from Kat and that she's never kind of like wanted to look into. Like I guarantee you, like if you were a Power Ranger, you would want to know what what you used to fight or how you fought certain things or like the others did. You know, it's, it's, it's information that you wanna consume. So it's gonna be a few things. It's either gonna be the media it's either going to be the fact that her teammates and Tommy all spoke about putties over time. So yeah, I think there's like some easier ones to kind of like manage. What are your thoughts on this? Which ones do you think are true or not? Let me know down below in those comments. And while you're down there, hit like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And if you want, check out the channel membership. That would be grand. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to shout out Kimono Cat. Your help does go a long way to support the channel. And if you want to consider helping the channel, then links to my Patreon as well as the channel members are listed below. Ara ara, channel o support shite kurete. ありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価、お願いします。As always, we'll continue to bring you the latest Power Rangers news as it happens. 